Welcome to the vault, the Iowa branch. Jason here, and like a lot of you, I order almost all of my hats online without trying them on first. Um, and let me tell you, man, there is nothing worse than, you know, getting your W on your hat, waiting the days, sometimes weeks for the hat to arrive, popping it out of that box, putting it on for the very first time, and it doesn't fit right. I mean, there's lots of reasons that happens. Um, you know, the materials being used, uh, the amount of stitching on the hat, uh, the fact that these are all handmade in, in different factories. Sometimes hats just don't fit the way they're supposed to. Um, if you get a hat that's too small, um, it can be too tight, that sucks. But uh, luckily Pierre's made a great video that we've linked to down in the description below uh, on how to use a hat jack to stretch that hat out and make it fit beautifully. Um, but sometimes, um, like when I ordered this uh, Minnesota Twins hat from, from Sports World, um, there, it just comes in and it's too big, too loose. Like, you know, I can turn it around. I can fit two fingers up in the side here. Um, that's a little looser than what I usually like my hats to wear. Um, some people will tell you that that heat is the answer. Um, pour hot water over over the hat. Um, leave it out on the dash of your car for in the sun for several hours. And then some people will even like to throw their hat in, in the dryer. Um, I don't like using heat um, basically because it changes the structure of the hat. Um, a hat will shrink naturally over time with wear. Um, so if you if you shrink the hat, um, you may actually have to use a hat jack to stretch it back out again. Um, the, the other reason I don't like using heat is there's no precision to it. Like you may go too far. Um, you may actually damage the hat and, and nobody really wants that. Um, so the method I like to use is uh, I go down to the hardware store and pick up this foam tape. Um, it comes in a variety, variety of different colors, different sizes, um, but basically people use it to seal off windows, doors, etc. Uh, I like it because it's, it's soft um, and it actually has, let me show you, um, self-adhesive tape on the back side of it. Um, which when I show you what I do with it, it comes in pretty handy. Um, but basically what you want to do, so let me switch hats here so I can show you, is you want to cut off a strip about the size of the visor, right? Um, if your hat's really loose, cut off a little bit more. If it's just a little bit loose, you want to tighten it up a bit, cut off a little bit less. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the hat and all I'm going to do is take the sweatband and flip it inside out. I'm gonna take the foam strip and put it right there where the visor meets the crown, right behind the buckram. I like to put it behind the buckram because um, it, it, it doesn't create a bulge when you're wearing the hat. Um, whereas if you put it in the back or on the sides, um, it could actually stick out a little bit. But basically, you put it in there right behind the sweatband um, yeah, that's basically about it. So when I put this hat back on, oh, much more snug, doesn't move near as much. Uh, look, I can't even fit a finger in there now. Um, it's nice and soft. I don't even know what's in there. Um, I poked my eye out. Um, but yeah, once you get it to the size that you want, you can actually take it back out. Um, take that little, uh, backing strip off of there. And just place it back so that way it doesn't move around on you. Um, this stuff isn't super sticky. Um, so you can take it back out when, if the hat does shrink. You can trim it back up, um, add some more, you know, whatever. Um, and basically just stick it in there. And boom, done. Hat fits like a perfectly true to size hat now.